Yeah, you suck. Welcome to Ranger Reviews, a web series where we look at episodes of the TV show Power Rangers and then discuss them. Today we're exploring the 26th episode of the show Power Rangers Lost Galaxy, as well as the 319th episode overall, horribly titled Mean Wheels Mantis. We begin this episode in the forest where Leo is walking around, finding Maya up in a tree because... Of course. She's somehow talking to the wolf Galactabeast. She's like, and then what? And Leo is like, this is amazing. How can you understand them? And Maya jumps down telling him to just listen with his heart. They speak feelings. Good lord. Then why did you just ask a question like it was going to tell you a story a second ago? This lying girl. Leo tries, but he can't do it. Leo tells him to do it again and he tries, but it doesn't seem to work. All right, that's fun. On the Scorpion Singer, Deviat introduces the Motor Mantis Monster with his creepy ass face. Deviat thinks he's a great monster for some reason, and he asks Trakina for a chance. Trakina's like, sure, why not? Smash cut to Motor Mantis going around, blowing shit up on his bike while screaming, laughing at himself. Yellow and Pink flip in, and they're immediately fired down from the sky. Mai asks what's going on, and he says that he has a big race that he needs to win first. The girls take him on, but they're hit back, and Kendricks takes a bike to the tits. Motor Mantis then zaps them, and just as the boys are showing up on their motorbikes that I totally forgot about, the two girls shrink and disappear. The two girls have been turned into trophies, which is just the action figures that have been spray painted gold. Motor Mantis tries to race the boys, and if they win, they'll get the trophies. The rangers say hell no, trying to charge the Motor Mantis, but he leaves, saying no race, no trophies, slashing them back. The boys get on their bikes, chasing Motor Mantis through the windy streets of Terra Venture, I guess, and Motor Mantis goes forward. He's bored, so he creates a laser rope thing for Blue, and Kai hits it, getting set back off of his bike. Damon starts firing at Motor Mantis in an attempt to slow him down, but Motor Mantis replies by firing down rocks for them to maneuver through, and Damon gets straight into one, flying on top of it. He tells Leo to catch Motor Mantis. Not gonna lie guys, this is boring as fuck. Leo catches up and they're side by side and they start punching at one another. They're coming up on the finish line and Motor Mantis fires at Leo, slowing him down so that he can leap through the air and win the race. Was that the entire Terra Venture? Doubtful. Leo says that wasn't fair and Motor Mantis is kind of like, you suck, bye, and then they disappear. Leo collapses on the ground, feeling like he let everyone down because he couldn't beat Motor Mantis. Anyways, in a shop, Damon and Kai can't get their bikes ready to go, and Leo's bike is the least damaged. Damon hopes that he can get it running in the morning. Leo is really mad, and Kai and Damon try to calm him down about everything, but Leo huffs and puffs, leaving, wanting to go save the girls. Leo's by himself on a balcony, all pissed off, and he hears a Yahoo in the distance, which is then replaced by a lion roar. Uh, whatever. He goes to investigate. Of course, it's his Galacta Beast who is trying to communicate to him, so we need to flash back to 30 seconds ago when Maya tried to tell him how to listen to feelings. Leo tries, and a year later, he's like, more power? Where? My astro cycle? Thanks. Those aren't feelings. Those are specifics. Leo runs off as the sun rises. He sneaks into the garage, finding Kai sleeping on a tire. He seems to assume that his astro cycle is fine for some reason, and he's ready to go. And he wheels it out past a sleeping Damon. He's now morphed, roaming around on his astro cycle, coming to a rough stop, which is kind of hilarious. He's calling out to Motor Mantis to come out because he has a challenge for him. Motor Mantis shows up, asking what's up. Why should he have to prove himself again? Leo says it's not just the trophies that are at stake this time. He offers up his Quasar Saber for the race too. We see him put the sword up for the winning, as does Motor Mantis with pink and yellow. Motor Mantis then explains the rules of the race like we don't get it. They also have lights counting them down to go. Who built this? It hits green and the two take off in what is sure to be a very exciting race sequence that's not at all repetitive and boring. Oh look, they're going side to side. Leo gets ahead and then he's fired at. Did Leo not prepare for that to happen again? Motor Mantis then just says fuck it, jumping onto Leo's bike, and Leo tosses him back off, magically landing on his own bike. He then kicks Leo away through some boxes and stuff. Apparently this is halfway. They are going way too slow for that. Meanwhile, Kai wakes up, seeing that the red astro cycle is missing. He wakes up Damon, who is confused as to where the bike went. Meanwhile, Motor Mantis is getting closer to the finish line, and Leo remembers Maya and Kendricks getting turned into trophies, and also Maya telling him to listen to his heart. Why? Leo calls for the red capsular cycle because apparently that's a thing and his bike gets chunkier and more lion-like and he zooms by winning the race easily. Okay. Mantis is like, you have to take them from me and Leo goes into fireball mode, zooming through Mantis and blowing him up. Luckily this doesn't leave Kendricks and Maya in a permanent trophy state but instead it brings them back to life. Kai and Damon show up and Kai gives Leo his saber while Damon investigates his new bike. They're very impressed. Motor Mantis grows giant and Leo calls out for the Galacta Beast. Where's Mike? Honestly, who cares though? They transform the Galactabeast into their Zords and eons later, they form the Galaxy Megazord. 
Motor Mantis says that they just beat him because of the fancy bike, and he promises to be just as fast on his feet as he runs very slowly. <laughs> they slash him a few times, getting kicked in the side. They flip him over, and Kendrix calls for the pink power, which does some kind of weird laser thing from the Wildcat. They call it the Condor Missile Mode, firing it and blowing up Motor Mantis once and for all. Later, Maya and Leo are walking again, and Leo says that the Lion Galactabeast told him about the Red Capular Cycle, and Maya's like, wow, that's awesome. And Leo claims that he told him all this stuff about when he was like a baby, but he's just joking. Leo says he just crossed his fingers and went for it, and Maya says he got lucky. They meet up with the others, and Damon, Kai, and Leo are racing each other on mountain bikes. Also, Kendrix is very clearly someone else because we can't see her face. The end. So yeah, this episode's inoffensive, but it's decently boring. I mean, it's a lot of watching people drive bikes in alleged circles. But an interesting thing here is that they introduced a red capsular cycle, which we will actually see a lot more of. I remember having this toy as a kid, and I'm pretty sure I thought it was even kind of lame then. The most interesting thing, though, is that Kendrix is clearly being played by a double in this episode. It's actually pretty well done, like way better than Mighty Morphin Season 2 with Jason, Zack, and Trini, but it is happening. We'll get to see why in a few episodes, but just be aware that it's pretty obvious that the Pink Ranger isn't around during these last few episodes. In fact, Morphed Kendrix is obviously being voiced by Maya's actress and just a bit of a deeper voice impersonating Kendrix's actor. Lost Galaxy is a mess behind the scenes and I can't wait to talk to you all about it. Next time is probably one of my most favorite episodes as a kid. Why? I don't know, I just kind of remember it. But until then, may the power protect you.